Hello, welcome to Himalayan Chronicles. Today we are going to explore the upgrade options of Mac Mini M1 chipset. So currently Mac Mini M1 is running on Sonomo version as you can see. So we are now enabling or trying to update to from 14.6.1 Sonomo to the release candidate that recently released on 9th of September, Sequoia. So the Mac OS Sequoia is a new Mac operating system version and a new complete new line of version. So we are going to select the developer beta. So when we select developer beta, it's going to fetch the release candidate. RC is almost equivalent to the final version. So bugs might be removed, most of the bugs. As you can see, we're able to see the Mac OS Sequoia 15.0. When you click on more, it gives you a lot of features like iPhone mirroring, widget resizing, and also a lot of bug fixes, along with a lot of features both on the music, Apple TV, and as well as different applications including airpods and other devices full release notes is available when you click on more info it includes safari browser video conferencing messaging maps so many features are there guys so don't miss this beautiful upgrade option available from 9th of september if you have a mac mini m1 chipset or any other mac products which are supported devices you can go to about select the developer account please note you should have access to developer account and then select the RC build. RC is nothing but release candidate gold master. It's almost a final version. Roughly 6 GB guys. So let's go ahead and install, enter the password and now install it and understand the greatest uh, features available. So while the installation is going on, let's explore what are the devices supported by Mac OS Sequoia 15.0. Great guys, don't miss this video. So currently it's downloading almost 6 GB of data. The following devices are compatible with Mac OS Sequoia iMac 2019 later, iMac Pro 2017, MacBook Air 2020 and above, MacBook Pro 2018 and above, Mac Mini 2018 and later, Mac Pro 2019 and Mac Studio, all models. So Mac Mini M1, we are using it. So currently it's rebooting guys. So as you can see, it's mentioned about 11 minutes remaining. And the performance is also quite good. I can see the installation has been completed. Now it says rebooted. And you're able to see the navigation, the UI interface is also pretty fast. When you go to about, it shows you the version Mac OS Sequoia 15.0. So as you can see, it's not beta, it's a release candidate. Most of the bugs might be removed by now. And a lot of new features are available, guys. As you can see, new wallpapers from uh, Sequoia are also available. And also, it gives you options of selecting dynamic wallpaper, as you can see. Amazing, guys. Overall, the main features would be including, you know, uh, iPhone mirroring, the new calculator app, and also the notes, notes has been updated, password system, Safari has been updated and Apple intelligence will be coming soon to 15.1, the Sequoia next version, that will also will come soon. And uh, the new IA is also uh, available for free form pages, keynote notes and Apple TV. So the main feature I really like is iPhone mirroring. Literally you can have the iPhone using the same Apple ID beside your system and you can navigate the iPhone directly using the beautiful iPhone mirroring option. So now I am seeing the current size. The Mac OS Sequoia is roughly taking about 20 GB uh, Mac OS system and uh, the remaining temporary files also taking. So it takes some time before it you know optimizes the file system. Overall I really like the performance and as you can see uh, it's pretty fast. Very very fast. And let's see what are the supported devices as I mentioned earlier. Most of the devices supported about 2018 and later. And all Apple Silicon chipsets are supported, guys. That's the main advantage. So let's explore once again what are the devices supported here. As you can see, uh, MacBook Air, all M Apple Silicon chipsets, and also MacBook Pro about 2018 models are all supported. The Apple Silicon will definitely take advantage of this uh, Sequoia operating system. I really like this uh, performance, as you can see. Uh, I don't see any lag at this point. So right now we are running on Mac Mini M1 chipset and just open the photos application all other applications pretty fast as you can see i'm trying to navigate to other applications like keynote it's almost instant keynote is also able to launch the new uh, splash screens and as well as uh, we are trying to open the numbers and pages as well. pretty fast guys i really like this uh, performance on the sequoia release candidate most of the you know uh, applications have been revamped. Notes also you can see it has got a new launch screen. Similarly, pages. 
This has also got a new launch screen. So you can see a lot of features are explained very clearly. And similarly, you also have uh, the new application like iMovie, the new version which supports cinematic uh, setting as well. And along with the main feature, the iPhone mirroring guys. So stay tuned in this video, I'll show you what is iPhone mirroring, how it can be achieved. And here you can see a lot of other applications like passwords, which is a new app, a new UI, which keeps all your password applications at one place. Similarly, now you can see the Sequoia 15.0 version clearly mentioned over here in the about box. So I'm using 8 GB version of Mac mini M1 with 2 6 GB SSD. I see performance is mind blowing, dynamic wallpapers are there. And as well as if you go to, uh, you know, uh, stage manager is also available. And let me navigate iPhone mirroring. So I have an iPhone 13 Pro actually, just sitting beside my uh, Mac mini. It's trying to connect now, as you can see, it's trying to connect to iPhone 13 Pro. Just ensure iPhone is locked and you have entered the passcode. iPhone also should be using the same version. So I have updated my iPhone to release candidate, uh, the new iOS 18. I'll create another video which explains. As you can see, I'm able to navigate WhatsApp and other features as well, like a typical iPhone. And this is the complete uh, iPhone icons using iOS 18. So it would match iOS 18 along with Sequoia. As you can see, I'm able to open YouTube. And let's try to navigate to landscape also. It automatically is going to navigate to landscape when I click on that option of uh, you know, viewing in landscape. The moment I click that, this will automatically go to landscape mode. And yes, the audio will be coming from the Mac Mini M1. The audio is also relayed along with the video. Amazing guys, isn't it? So now let's go back to the normal portrait mode. As you can see, performance is pretty fine. It's currently wireless. There is no wire connection between my uh, iOS device and the Mac Mini. I mean iPhone and Mac Mini. As you can see here also, I'm using I iOS 18. Uh, this is again the candidate date version. So that's about it. Uh, iPhone mirroring is a pretty useful system. As I mentioned, iMovie is also revamped a bit. It supports cinematic uh, applications as well. Uh, so it supports cinematic along with Apple Silicon support. Definitely the performance will be fast. It's amazing guys. Overall, I really like this opportunity to use the release candidate. So let's continue using release candidate for 2-3 days and we'll observe more settings, how the performance is and so on. So far, no bugs. Stage manager is also working fine. I see overall it's good. Amazing guys. So let's enjoy iPhone mirroring and some other new features. So numbers it also launched perfectly fine, super fast. Amazing. So let us express uh, the notes section, the updated notes interface. You can use formulas with equal sign to actually give you the result. So let's open the notes and we will find out, okay? So, and also before you open, as you can see, I have multiple windows open. I can recess them very easily. If I drag the window to the left side, it's going to automatically maximize to the left side, similar to the right side. And also I can make it maximize on the screen also, which is very useful. I really like it. This feature is amazing, guys. As you can see, I can directly scroll up and it's going to automatically adjust to automatic to the particular screen resolution. Similarly, so let's go to notes application also. We'll explore what are the features available in notes application. So I'm going to open it now with the Lotus notes or notes application and we'll see how the performance is. Okay. And also I can create a screen mirroring. I can mirror iPhone directly to my Mac mini M1. If my iPhone is also using, uh, you know, iOS 18, you might have seen iPhone mirroring in the app. Now I'm actually using iPhone to cast the screen onto the Mac mini. That is also a very good feature guys. As you can see, Mac mini, I can able to cast the screen of iPhone into the Mac mini. So now let's open and explore few of the other applications. Okay. So let us explore the new application over here. Amazing guys, literally amazing calculator. As you can see, it supports various basic scientific and also now it supports history. I can see all the previous calculations I have done, including the history so that I can make any correction if I need it. That is also a very good new feature. Now let's launch the notes application as I mentioned. Direct formulas are also supported in notes. So if I said 2 plus 4 equal, 
it gives you value automatically that is also a very good new feature guys the mathematical expressions can be directly calculated in the notes itself even i can scribble amazing guys literally and also to understand more you can go to the apple intelligence uh, uh, playlist apple intelligence i have created another video which explains you artificial intelligence that can be leveraged on mac mini m1 which is using sequoia 15.1 that is a parallel thing going on parallel update from apple so right currently you are seeing the release candidate of sequoia 15.0 i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching like share subscribe himalayan chronicles also don't forget to see the next uh, part of the video apple intelligence which is already in our channel i'll put the link down below so don't miss this apple intelligence so currently we are in the build sequencia 15.0 so let's wait for the final build soon but release candidate is almost very zero bucks so enjoy using the macintosh thanks a lot